Quran in Surah Nisa that penalty of Zani should be 40 lashes. Where it is written in the Quran that the death penalty should be given to rapist? Sister said that she has read that the Quran says that a Zani should be given 40 lashes. Where is it mentioned in the Quran that death penalty is given? Sister referring to the verse of the Quran of Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 2, which says that as for the fornicator, be it a woman or a man, flog them each with 100 lashes. It's not 40 lashes, it is 100 lashes. It is for a fornicator. What you're quoting the hadith that a person should be stoned to death is an adulteress or adulterer. The difference is that in Arabic zina is there. In English, there is fornication adultery. Fornication means having sexual intercourse outside a marriage bond before a person is married. An unmarried man having sexual intercourse with a person who is not the legal wife or husband. In adultery, a person who is married, whether man or woman, has a sexual intercourse with the person who is not the husband or wife. So the case for fornication is, before marriage, according to the Quran, is 100 lashes. And there is another verse in the Quran, in Surah Nisa chapter 4, I think it was number 15, that for adultery, for a person in zina, confine her in a room, and keep her in the room until death takes place or something else is ordained for her. So she should be secluded in the room until she dies or something else is ordained for her. Something else is ordained, you go in the hadith. Hadith says that person who commits adultery should be stoned to death. So based on this, a person who commits adultery, it's hadith of Sahih Bukhari, the Prophet said that anyone who commits adultery should stone her to death or stone him to death. So an adulterer and adulteress, the punishment is stoned to death. Fornication before marriage, Sexual intercourse outside the marriage bonds is called as fornication 100 lashes. Hope that answers the question, sister.